Hey everybody, some gadget guy here, and just a quick update on the Qualcomm talk. It just got a, a new piece of software today that I'm really stoked to talk about. So when we started firing up the Qualcomm talk, it was a nice smartwatch, you could get your alerts, but there are new things that they just added functionality wise. So apparently, and I didn't know that this watch had one, the Qualcomm talk actually does have motion tracking capabilities through some sort of accelerometer. And so they've got a new world clock, you can see time and weather in your favorite cities. You can change the temperature and weather settings from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So for those of you who use proper degrees versus weird American degrees, I'm absolutely kidding, please don't send me hate mail. But this new activity applet and this new activity clock tie into the, the Qualcomm Talk's ability to track movement. And, and it's super beta. I mean, they're, they're not lying. It's, it's really lean. But it gives you very rudimentary Fitbit style or pedometer-like uh, movement tracking capabilities. And so just to show you in the preferences, we can now come down and there's this new little uh, menu setting for activity and we can tap on that and you can turn it on and you can see here's the history. I've had it turned on this morning and I've already garnered 94 points just walking around my apartment. How exciting. But of course, we really wanna see how this works on the watch. So now we have a new watch face so I can slide over to the watch face and you see this cool guy who's a runner you can see my 94 points and a little time clock in the in the top but then if we want to jump into the applet we we now have a new applet here and we can tap on this applet and it shows you the exact same screen so there like like when they say rudimentary and it, that it's in beta it's super beta this is basically just a pedometer but really the the reason why this is so exciting again is i just had no idea that this was built into the talk and i and i had kind of just taken it for granted you know that this wasn't something that i was going to be able to get still they need to open up some kind of sdk so other people can start developing for the qualcomm talk or start utilizing this data so i could fit, feed this information into runkeeper that would be awesome. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can do anything like that just yet. But again, we're stoked for any new kind of functionality. It's always exciting when piece of tech gets some kind of new feature or new update or new upgrade. And if you want to see a full rundown on the Qualcomm Talk, we have the first impressions video up where you can see everything uh, built into the app and how all of the little applets work. And we also did a follow-up video just talking about the battery life on the talk. So definitely go check that out. And as always, thanks so much for commenting, for sharing, for watching the videos, for subscribing to my channel. And uh, I will catch you all on the next video.